Okay, in this video I'm going to go over the performance information on this Tiger Motor MT2814 710 kV motor. On the Tiger Motor website they provide information on the motor, the stats, and performance data. In this graph of data, which is just a picture on the internet, they provide a lot of number information as far as the performance for these different props. What I wanted to do was put this uh, number information into some graph form so I could make a uh, intelligent choice for propeller and battery combinations for this motor for a hexacopter that I'm building. So what I did was I took this uh, picture from the internet, this uh, graph data, and I put in OCR and then I ended up throwing it in a spreadsheet so I could manipulate the data and put it in a chart. So here's that chart from the internet in a uh, spreadsheet for, uh, format so I could use this data and then I made different graphs so I could um, see the information visually. So the first graph is a 3S um, battery with these particular um, prop combinations and the ones at the top provide the most thrust, the ones at the bottom provide the least thrust first over this uh, throttle range from 50 to 100%. And the graph below that is um, efficiency, which is grams of thrust per watt. So the ones that were on top on this graph are going to be on the bottom of this uh, graph because the more thrust they provide, the least efficient they are. So in this graph, um, the more efficient ones are the 13.4, the 11, 4.7. Um, they come in the bottom range of the amount of total thrust for a 3S battery, but they are more efficient. I also put this data in here for the 4S. Uh, again, um, total thrust data, the ones at the top over on this graph are going to be closer to the bottom on this graph. Uh, but this tells you if you're looking at lifting a craft over a certain amount of weight, you could look at the weight range over here and multiply that times the number of motors you have to get your total amount of thrust. And then this helps you choose the right propeller that's more efficient for your particular application. Um, I really was looking at using an 11 4.7 prop, so I wanted to compare uh, 3S versus 4S uh, data. And in this, obviously, the 4S motor provides a lot more total thrust over the throttle range, but is also, on the red line here, is less efficient um, in amount of grams of thrust per watt. So that really helps you make some choices when uh, making these decisions between the prop, battery, and uh, engine combination. I also made a spreadsheet that using my own motor testing stand, this is uh, 11 4.7 prop using that same motor and this is a 3S versus a 4S total thrust output and then uh, the efficiency in grams of thrust uh, per watt, uh, I made a graph on that too. My data ended up being very close to the data they provided on the website. So I was just kind of checking to see if the data that they had here was, was accurate. Um, so anyways, this is just uh, how we use the information from the Tiger Motor website to make um, intelligent choices on engine battery and propeller combinations for my ex uh, uh, upcoming uh, helicopter.